So, let me disabuse your mind about this. There are actually two groups there. The group of the yellow who cannot accept defeat. So they keep on making noises and making contacts with this uh, lady that I will not mention her name because she's a lady. And she only made it big because she married an American, a black one, millionaire, and she inherited the money. And now she's talking as if she's I said, uh, I, I, I would like to, uh, I, I, I take your questions, but let me just end my story because uh, uh, I, I like this uh, adage which he said when he was the President of the United States of America. And he's also one of the few heroes that I have in mind. One is Rizal, my father, then this guy. And he said, uh, if I were to try to read, much less answer all attacks made on me, this shop might as well be closed for any other business. I do the very best I know how, the very best I can, and I mean to keep doing so until the end. If the end brings me out all right, what is said against me won't amount to anything. But if the end brings me out wrong, then angels of God swearing I was right would make no difference. Abraham Lincoln. Great uh, statement that you had. And for my, me, I just, two. two. There was this saying in the YMCA dormitory. And it's always there, and I've memorized it over time. And, uh, he said that, I expect to pass through this world but once. Any good, therefore, that I can do to any fellow creature, let me do it now. Let me not defer or neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. So for those of the bad guys, putang ina, papatayin ko talaga kayo. Really. For all of the gangsters and with the ill and you know, tensions of this republic. Do not try to fuck it, guys. You lose not only your pants, but your life. I will not hesitate. If it is my country, the interest of my country and the people, if it's the one at stake, you can be very sure. I would not, I have no doubts in my mind that I know what I should do. The threat of drugs and terrorism is very real. If the ISIS loses the land mass and if they are driven out, they will start to spread around the world. And they've always uh, dreamt of this caliphate in Southeast Asia and obviously it's Indonesia, Malaysia and the Philippines because of its Muslim population. I'm not saying uh, the Moros, no, they do not have anything like that, except the Maute who said that they have pledged allegiance to. Terrorism is very real. And uh, if finally the ISIS is defeated, it will just sprout everywhere, just like any revolution, because it's a, a dialogue. What happened before in Malaysia, many never got it really correct. What happened in, 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 in the southern states, including Mindanao, no, Malaysia, no? there was this resurgence of moral nationalism. Because they were the, they are the originals there in Mindanao. When Magellan, I said, arrived, Mindanao was already 100 years ahead. At my post, Tesla, there was a post in the fight against imperialism, uh, the Spaniards and the Americans, Islam was their rallying point. So that, that thing there is not new. It's not really a rebellion of, it's the resurgent moral 
nationalism. It is, it was their land. So that you have to make concessions. Now believe me, they are, the barest minimum would be really federalism. And mark my word, I would not be here for, for, for all the time. If we do not adopt federalism, there is no way that peace can be attained in Mindanao, now or in the future. That's why those who are resisting federalism, because you want to maintain the unitary type, this is actually a, a structure for despots and kings and uh, authoritarianism. And I don't know why the Americans, when they left us in 1946, coming from a federal country, did not give it to us. Was it because of the parity rights which they were interested? Because it was attached in that constitution that the Americans would enjoy the same privileges to exploit and develop natural resources, just like a Filipino. Or it was really with the good intentions, and we are an island separated from one another, 7,000 of it, actually. It would be good to have a strong president. But if I may suggest, I'm telling you now, and you have my word, if they can come up next year, or the sooner, whatever, uh, two, three years from now, my term is six years. But if they can craft a constitution creating a federal setup, a country, and uh, uh, providing for a strong president just like the, the, the type which uh, France has, then I am willing to step down without waiting for the six years. Because then I said you would uh, need a, a president it is not good for a pure parliamentary type, just like in Britain, because it is not responsive at this time. Remember the double-decker was uh, uh, blown up by the, well, the ISIS, maybe at the time already. Uh, Britain at the time could hardly move because uh, of a parliament and it's a collegial body and a collegial decision. So the Prime Minister was, uh, could not even say a statement of uh, why, where, how. So it's not good. You, you, you know, in, in times of, uh, you have to have a strong president, I said. A federal type, a strong president. You might want to just give him a few of the powers. Five powers, but strong one. To dissolve the parliament, create a uh, call for a constitution be the commander-in-chief of all armed forces because you need it at this time in our life. And uh, maybe two additional powers, but always there has to be a strong leader at this time. Cannot be a parliament or something which you have to discuss after. Belongs to one man. And it's all commander-in-chief. That is what I am advocating. But for me, I said, I told Senate President uh, Pimentel, and uh, they were here during the National Security Meeting, and the Speaker, go ahead, make it fast. And if you can create that model two or three years, I will step down as President of this Republic. No problem. No problem at all. I said that. That's why I said, for those who are asking for my ouster, do not dream about it. Eventually, I will. If you do not like me, go for the federal type, and you are free of my presence in government. I'd like that thing to disabuse the minds of the people and to remember it. I have no illusions at all. I'm good at this time already. When I go back there, I have to ride in that motorboat uh, I live in the small house there, at ju ju just across. I do not stay here because I said, uh, 
they do not, the ghosts here, do not wait for night time and darkness. They are there even in daytime, as early as 8 o'clock in the morning. And if I stay at the, I don't know where it is, you just might uh, feel that someone is beside you. If it's a white lady, I will willingly oblige. <laughs> the problem is when we begin to chat, there's a, there's a Caucasian there, because uh, the, when the one stays there were the Spaniards and the Americans. You can find a, a man with the bird with the uh, pipe in his mouth, and that would be scary. Most of the presidents here are in the past there, the Spaniards and uh, the Americans. And there's uh, somewhere the states where the mother of our national hero begged the Spaniard governor general at the time to spare his son's life. It is a place there where she knelt down and cried and pleaded for mercy. National hero, not then. But the only thing about her is the memory. Uh, otherwise, it's all wood. It's not a palace, actually. It's a full of rooms there and there. But uh, I'm glad that they, you have uh, had uh, the chance to visit me or the palace for the first time, whichever is uh, convenient to you to see me first or the palace. It's okay, but that is my story to you tonight. Thank you. And good night. questions of the day. Maybe the burning questions of the day. But the Constitution, I am ready to reverse the 60-40. Uh, as long as Congress is also ready, I will uh, go along with it. But you know, uh, there is something which is really, uh, it's a fundamental reconcilable uh, difference with me and uh, some of the congressmen. Because even the speaker before, who was my political enemy, uh, already agreed to sell lands, uh, lands uh, to foreigners. Uh, uh, I am sorry, but I am not ready for that kind of. Uh, but I see no. You know, well, 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 because uh, I said uh, most of the Filipinos are poor. And with the growing economy of uh, the super giant China and the rest, you know, they can always come here and buy the land. And they, can, they can buy the whole of Tondo and relocate. Uh, and we end up with nothing and everything sold. So, paano uh, tayo? In the future, we'll be standing or living on a lot uh, of a subdivision owned by a foreigner. At this time of our financial life and civilization, you can easily sell the land, even for a pittance. It would come to other people almost as free. And then what happens? Where will I go if everything is already owned? Even if it's agricultural land, they can gobble it up. Even if we say that there's a term, the still, and there would be a time where we would have lost control over the lands. Over. Yes, uh, Peter. Yeah, well, I, I, I agree with you on the changes in the Constitution. I think it is very important. What timing do you see to be able to achieve it, realistically, given, I, given a Congress that doesn't know how to do anything? You know, Given my term, six years, still very early, I can afford a constitutional convention. But just the same, everybody who has the money will prevail. 
And others who have the money right now will, will prevail. And you still have a convention that's really full of vested uh, interest. Wala kang makuha dito because mahirap nga. Given the electoral uh, experience of our country, we have not matured uh, politically. And uh, in an election, those who have the money and the connection and those who are the relatives of the incumbent congressman would still prevail. The wife, the daughter, the son again. And we will have uh, almost a feudal setup ready to come up with a constitution. And to me, I would rather that uh, maybe not me, but uh, Almost uh, a commission of seven justices, or uh, a mix of uh, the lawyers. Uh, ben Lopez could be one. Any commission, and they would write a proposal, a draft of the constitution, and it will be submitted. The final draft would be submitted to Congress to debate on that but never to change the, the things that you'd want. Because uh, there is one contentious issue. If you call for a change in the Constitution, it's an, you, you open the floodgate. You cannot not control what matters to be changed, what are modified. But if they're ready to honor that we only change, uh, put it off to some other time, the other uh, items there, if they are uh, willing, concentrate on the economic uh, provisions. Maybe, uh, uh, I said, uh, the, the equity can be increased to uh, reverse 60, 40, or 70, if it's a foreign corporation. But to sell the land, I will not. For the life of me, I will not agree to that. I will lose my, my country too.